Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review tutorial and swatches of one of ColourPop's um, holiday collections. This is the Bedouin Noir one. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I always get mixed up with my stuff. So this is the pressed powder palette one and this one has uh, 12 shades, 12 eyeshadow shades. When you op get it out of the box, because that's not the box. I love the design, by the way. It, I don't even know what to call that design, but it's so freaking awesome. All of this is raised. Very, very pretty. The back is about the same as the packaging. It has all the shades. You only have one with the eye safety warning, which is the glitter that I have on my eye right now. When you open it up, it has this really, really big mirror. Bigger than any other, other mirrors that have been featured in their palette. Pretty much half of the size is what you would normally see in one of the ColourPop mirrors. This one's huge. So I like that it has a wide mirror because I have astigmatism and the the bigger the mirror, it helps me better to like get better to be able to get in there, especially when it comes to eyeliners and stuff like that. So I love it. These are the shades in there. I know a lot of people are trying to compare it to the good is gold from last year but i actually own the good is gold and i don't feel like they are the same at all this one has olive tones apart from the gold shimmers of course of course the other one has gold shimmers too but it doesn't have those olive tones those ones is gold and dark brown and light brown this one has light brown gold and you have some bonus olive tones in there i honestly didn't think this was going to work out because i thought maybe like when i really really looked at it i thought it was going to be just mostly neutrals and when I noticed those olive tones, I was like, how does that even work out, you know? But as I started using it and I started like seeing it on my eyes, I was like, whoo, this is a good one. This is a nice one, right? So I'm going to start with the blush first, you guys. You know that I always leave the swatches. If you guys ever, like if you're new to my channel, first of all, hi, my name is Sarah. I always do just palette reviews and reviews of makeup collections. Whatever I gravitate towards, I do make ones in Spanish and English. So there's always a Spanish version of this. If you feel more comfortable, if you know someone who prefers Spanish over English, however you guys want to. I grew up with, you know, with bilingual with both languages. It's not a big deal to me. So just know I always put the English ones out first. And then maybe a couple hours later, I put the Spanish one out. Or if I don't have enough time because I'm busy with the kids or whatever, I do it the next day. Please be patient because, you know, recording is easy, you guys. Editing two different languages is so hard to do it's not a joke it's so hard to do but i enjoy it so I'm, I'm not complaining so the love story you guys this is such a pretty packaging as well this is the love story powder blush they also have the other one but i'm gonna review the other one with the um menage a moi one so there will be a review on that palette as well when you open it up it has this is the color in here it's a very peachy rosy tone blush I have it on right now. Um, very, very subtle. <laughs> it's not that noticeable. It does have shimmer in it. It's not a complete matte one, which I prefer the matte ones. But this is just a matte with shimmer. It doesn't have glitter, so that's a bonus, I guess. But it is a sort of um, shimmer radiant sort of formula to it. It does make you, it's like double the highlighter with a blush, right? That's what it reminds me of. It does have that subtle peach right there, see? So it's not like huge, huge. On someone lighter, I would definitely say go light because it's gonna so show up super pigmented on you. I had to build it up on me, but I am, you know, I'm a tan person. So definitely on someone darker, I feel like you would have to build it up. And even then, um, it might not be dark enough. I, I couldn't say for sure, honestly. I'm just thinking. Maybe it would either be buildable and then still show up or it would not work completely because it's maybe it's not dark enough. I mean, it looks dark, honestly. But as I started applying it on my cheek, I was just thinking, you know what? It's just, it's buildable. Maybe it will work because you can technically still see it, right? Let me know if you guys can see it because I feel like I barely see it. It's just like a little wash of peach across my cheek. <laughs> it's not like boom in your face right i'm used to the boom ones that's that's what i'm used to so next you guys i'm gonna just show you guys these lip oils i bought the entire collection like i said so i do have the menage moi and then i have the other blush but i decided to do all four of these today with you guys 
because it's it's a lip oil you're not gonna see any color okay but I'm gonna swatch every single one of them this time around because it is <laughs> lip oil I'm not gonna do what I normally do normally I put them on I give you as a close-up and then I tell you guys my overall thoughts of every single one but since we know that these bees do not show up on pigmented <laughs> lips I'm just gonna give, show you guys all of them and then you guys will hear my thoughts after because there's, it just makes no sense to do them all like that one by one when I'm not going to see a whole lot of color. I have some faith that maybe hay might show up, but even then I'm going to start with the lightest one, which seems to be Truth Bomb. And then I'm going to do First Date, um, Smirk, and then hay looks like it's this bright magenta color, even though I know it's not going to show up that way. So let's do that. So definitely you guys this one is my favorite this one is called hey she shows up a little bit more like <laughs> you can see this little berry tone tint very light I'm betting on someone who doesn't have pigmented lips this is gonna look so pretty but even on my lips it's, it's good I mean I could use a berry tone lip liner with this and I am set this is an awesome one that first one that I added, that one that was called Truth Bomb, I'm not going to lie, I kind of didn't like this one, only because it's supposed to be a nude, and on my pigmented lips it came out, you could see that little nude tint to it, but I feel like, what are you really doing? All of these are usable for me. Honestly, they are. I, I have their other ones. Ever since they tried their first one with their Wild Nothing, I've been collecting their lip oils. Like, I love their formula for lip oils. It feels very hydrating on your lips. It I don't even know what the hell they have, but they have some kind of avocado, um, some kind of nourishing, all kinds of nourishing crap for it. I don't even know what the heck it has, you guys. I just know that I love this formula. It's very smooth. It's never sticky. I use every single one of them. I just apply a lip liner and I pop this in the middle and I'm good. So I don't know. I love these formula more than their Luxe Gloss. And that says a lot because I know a lot of people prefer their Luxe Gloss. And I actually love this one. Matter of fact, if I ever came and God gave me a chance to have a ColourPop collaboration, I was telling you. I was telling Abby that one of my subscribers that I chat with, I was like, I would want like a Lux gloss, but with like a red, red tint. And I want the tint to show on on pigmented lips as much as it would show up on non-pigmented lips. Like, cause I want something to work for everyone. <laughs> but I figured like, this one's cute. It's really, really pretty. This one came out more nudish. Um, definitely first date is not impressive. You know what this reminds me of? The Playa Vista one from their, I believe it was from their Wild Nothing one. This is like a straight up dupe for either Playa Vista or Hot Shot. So it looks so, so similar to those two. I honestly wouldn't even bother with that one. This one comes out as a pale rose. You can see the pale rose tint to my pigmented lips. On someone that doesn't have pigmented lips, I think these two would still work, way work for you. Just like I said, it'll work for us too, right? Pigmented lips will still work for us. We just got to put on a dark lip liner, you know, like a dark brown. Do this one in the middle. Or you put on a berry tone. Put this one or a mauve tone even. Um, this one I would wear with a dark berry or a red one. And then, you know, like this one, first date, you can wear that with like a nudie peach. It still works. It still all works. And I love, love their formula, you guys. Like it never... Their formula for that one doesn't ever get old for me. It's always pretty to use. So I totally forgot to give you guys um, arm swatches of <laughs> everything. So I'm just going to pop this probably somewhere in the video randomly. We're going to start with the lightest one that I did. We're going to go in the order that I did it on my lips. And of course, you know, the blush too. So I'm going to start with the blush. So this is the love story. I'm going to give you guys another swatch. 
Now you guys already know that these lip oils don't show a lot of tints, especially on the arms. So I'm just going to swatch and then name them. So you guys are going to know which ones I started off with. I'm going to try to go on the same sequence that I did in the lip swatches, okay? So first we have Truth Bomb. Truth Bomb. First Date. Smirk. Hey, so that's all of them, you guys, and that's it. Let's get back to the video wherever I decide to put this. So this is the palette, you guys, and like I said, I honestly love these tones. They're very, very pretty tones. I feel like these can work with a lot of people. So long as you're a neutral lover, they still gave us those ones on the bottom. I was able to use that one and then I used that one, this one, this one. Those are like the darkest shades in the glitter too. I love this gold. The only one that I don't feel comfortable with is Deja Vu one right here. But even then, I've seen people who are darker than me do cut creases and add that Deja Vu. And it's like, wow. You know, I personally don't like cut creases though. But I've seen people darker than me do it. So I know it will work for everyone. <laughs> So I'm just going to start with this one in the corner, you guys. And I'm going to go across like I always do until we get to the end of each row, right? So like I said, Deja Vu is the first one. This one looks like this vanilla peachy tone matte. So I'm going to give you guys another swatch. Because it is a buildable color. See that? And then next you have Good Night. This is a shimmer. This is like a gold champagne tone shimmer. Even though, even you, you can even say it's a, like a light gold, but it's so pretty. I use that as my inner corner highlight and I love the way it came out. I'm going to give you guys another swatch, but she doesn't really need it, right? It's very, very pretty on its own. And then you have body language. This is the one that I rubbed all over my eye before I patted the glitter on. On its own, it's a very, very pretty color. It looks like this brown khaki, which is kind of like blending into my own skin tone. So you can't really see it. But I'm going to give you guys another swatch just in case. Like on its own, it's very pretty, you guys. I'm just saying, you know, yeah, that must be my skin tone right there. Body language for some reason. <laughs> then you have the color Melt. Melt is a matte. It is this very light caramel brown. I'm going to give you guys another swatch of that one too. But buildable, the pigmentation. Oh, God, look at that. As a transition shade, I would use that one. It, it's like, like I said, the only one I didn't feel comfortable with is this one because it's the lightest shade, but every single other color in here is dark enough for someone of my skin tone, right? In the next row, we have Desire. Desire just looks like this olive yellow mustard tone almost. And I'm going to give you guys another swatch of that one too. So that's one swatch right there. And then this one is going to be two. So it's very like mustard olive green almost bird shit green <laughs> that's what it reminded me of and then you have the bedtime story glitter right here i'm gonna put that more up here because and this swatch is like beautifully crazy that it's watched that good but look at pretty much all of it came off of my finger i was really really surprised for that like i only have a little tiny bit left it slided on like butter and it doesn't need any adhesive and like I said in my tutorial it has yellow dark yellow light yellow and it has all these little iridescent reflex in there like chunks of glitter that give off this reflex of blue pink purple and green all at the same time when you put it on your eye because I have it on my eye right now god you guys I'm not joking it's so freaking pretty in person when you look at it and it has all these little yellow, gold, yellow, like darker tone yellow, like all these gold and yellow tones all at the same time. And then you see those little iridescent specks in there that give up all at the same time. They're giving you these like green, blue, pink, and purple as you move and the, and the light reflects on them. Such a pretty color. Next, you have that yellow shimmer. Um, I wanted to use this so bad. I am such a gold lover. It's not even funny. 
but I figured, oh God, I can't use it because then people are going to be like, she's just sticking to the gold because she likes gold. <laughs> but look at that. It's like, oh God, I just want to rub that all over my eye. It's like this deep liquid gold <sighs> yumness. I just love, love that one. That's such an awesome color. God, I love that one. And then you have latex and this one's such an army olive green. <laughs> It is a matte, does not need a second swatch, you guys. That is one swatch right there. That does not need another one. She is pretty all on her own. In the next row, you have Silk Sheet. This is another matte. This is my transition shade one. I would consider it a camel brown, and she did have to be uh, built up. So that's one. I did have to build it up, so this is two right here. And, um... After, apart from building it up, it's it's a pretty color. So I had no problems with blending or anything like that. Next you have Vibing. This is a dark matte brown with micro glitters in it. And you can see those. The glitters in it are like um, gold. They're just glitter gold um, little micro glitters. But still, I am so sick and tired of these formulas. But ColourPop keeps giving them to us. So... I don't know. It doesn't look like a bad color. Obviously, it's pigmented. I can see it. That's one swatch right there. That's awesome. It's just, I am not crazy about those little glitters. Then you have Nap over here. And Nap, to me, honestly, doesn't look so different from that first one right here. Except that one is just more of a lighter tone of it. And this is more of a darker tone. But it, they're both shimmers this one is it looks like a khaki brown that one's a khaki brown too this one that i swatched earlier which is this one right here so khaki brown khaki brown one is just darker than the other and i just thought they were just too similar to why would you do that you know why would you put both of them in this palette but still they're pretty colors on its own right and then you have the last color in here that's hotty hot toddy actually and I honestly thought this was a dark brown, but let me tell you, it is a dark olive green matte. It's still really pretty. I'm going to give you guys another swatch. This is another swatch right here. It's still a very pretty pigmented color. It's just, I thought it was a dark brown until I started to put it on my eye. And I was like, okay, you're not dark brown. <laughs> but those are all the shades in this palette. I honestly do recommend this one, if you, especially if you love neutrals. I know a lot of people are complaining about ColourPop. Um, bringing out neutrals. I honestly don't don't think we should be worried about them bringing out neutrals. What we should be worried about them bringing out these palettes that have all these light colors and they're supposed to be color pop and you're bringing me these light tones that won't even work for me. The bottom row will work. Maybe two, three, four max and that's it. And you gave me a bunch of like light colors that won't even show up, right? And honestly... Come on, we, we you should be including everybody here. <laughs> this is supposed to be color pop. Like, why are you doing this to us? I don't know. We'll get through it, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> so, there's plenty of other companies to sell us to. Like, Juvia's Place never never lets us down. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the swatches, you guys. Um, I don't want this video to be longer than it already is. So other than that, if you guys want to see how I created this look today, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I went in with Silk Sheets over here. It is a very um, brown. Um, I would consider it like a camel brown. It's very pretty. It's matte. Um, definitely has to be applied more than once, but it is a buildable color. So that is what you guys are going to see me do. So for my next color, I went in with this shimmer called Body Language right here. It is a khaki tone. What's funny is that these ones, these two right here almost look alike. It's just one just happens to be darker than the other. Definitely wanted to use Nap, but I just thought it was too dark. And in the end of, at the end of the day, it was going to get covered up by glitter. So <laughs> I ended up going in with Body Language and I just applied it over all my whole like eyelid using my finger. So that is what I'm going to do. So next, I added um, Hottie Toddy over here, which is a very dark, I want to say it's a dark brown, but it almost looks like a dark olivey green. <laughs> and I just applied it right here, a little bit across and down here, halfway. That is what I'm going to do.
So for the next color that I used, you guys, I use Late Tex, and it is just this super dark olivey green. Very, very pretty. I basically took that color and I applied it all the way down here across, um, trying to blend into that brown right there, that dark one that I put. But it kind of like, it looks pretty all in its own. It's a very dark green, army green. I love it. It's a matte too. So that is basically what you guys are going to see me do right now. Okay, you guys, so given the exception that I haven't added the glitter, I want to show you guys that you don't have to add the glitter. The look on its own is very pretty, you know, not including the inner corner highlight, of course, because I'm going to add that in a second. But if you totally wanted to do this just the way it is right there, like that, it's pretty all on its own. I just think the glitter gives it that extra oomph. That's what I like because I like glitters. If you've been watching for a while, this shouldn't surprise you. I like glitter, so... Like I said, on its own, very, very pretty. You don't need the glitter, but I like glitter. So we, I'm going to add this one that's called Bedtime Story. It is a super, so, so pretty glitter. It looks gold, and at the same time, it has these iridescent, chunky glitters mixed in there. And the glitters just give off this, like, reflection of purple, pink, blue, all, like, just different the way it hits the lights. On the eye, this is crazy. It's so pretty on the eye. It looks like just these different reflections of green, blue, dark gold, light gold, and just like this. I don't even know how to explain it. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to use that one right there. It's bedtime story. And I'm just going to pat it all over my eyelid right there, covering up that one that's already there. Like I said, you don't have to do this part. Um, I just like glitter. <laughs> So that's what you guys are going to see me do. So for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I went in with this one right here that's called Good Night. It is like this champagne-y, um, I want to call it sort of this gold, champagne gold shift almost. And it's a shimmer. It's very, very pretty. Like obviously you can see it right there. I just love, love that color. So I'm basically going to take that and... Um, you know, do it normally like I do it with my finger. I wanted to let you guys know that this glitter needed no adhesive. Like, <laughs> the adhesive in there is so good that all you have to do is really just like and pat it on and it sticks. It sticks. I did get some type of fallout on my cheeks, but it's not like a huge deal. It wasn't something that I couldn't just, you know, just wipe, wash, brush away, okay? So that is what I'm going to do for my inner corner highlight. I'm going to use that good night color and I'm just going to pat it in there with my finger. So that's basically it for the eye, you guys. Let me just put on some mascara. And um, I'm going to add some black in my waterline. Just It's a regular one for Wet n Wild. It's not, it's not worth mentioning like that. <laughs> so uh, that's what you're going to see me do. And I'm going to come right back to give you guys a close-up of the eye look. So this is the finished eye look today, you guys. I'm hoping you guys love it. Because I love this palette. <laughs> I thought it was just like, you know, it's like another neutral palette, to be honest. But I thought these colors were great. It, it works. It meshes well together. I had no problems with blending or anything, which is awesome because sometimes you do encounter those one shadows that don't want to, like, blend out into nothing, you know, basically. So let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I actually do like this palette. It's very, very pretty. Um... There's only one one that has the eye safety warning. It basically is the glitter. I am loving this bigger mirror because even though I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've ever done this. The other mirrors are like half this size, you know. I actually like this because I can see my entire face. And for someone like me who has astigmatism, I actually appreciate a bigger mirror because I can go like this. <laughs> I'm blind as heck. You don't want to see me going like, I cannot be this far. Because if I want to get detail into my face, especially if it has to do with eyeliner, like I have to be this close in order to get that precision. My eyes tend to shake too when I'm doing the eyeliner. Like this eye will twitch really, really bad. Um, it's hereditary, you guys. I have like um, muscular fidgets, if you want to call them. They're muscular generation, but still like, thank you, mom. <laughs> 
So, yeah, it has to do with just like getting as close as I can and just taking my time with it or else it would just not, it would not work out. And these colors are so workable. I feel like for someone who loves neutrals, it just, it makes sense. Um, a lot of people are trying to compare this to the gold is, good as gold one. I actually don't think there's a comparison to that one because Good as Gold had about at least two or three. Um, they had foil formula in there. They had glitter formula in there. They had mattes. They had shimmers. And that one is gold and brown, like dark brown to black, you would almost consider it. This one has olive green, yellowish gold, if you want to think of that, mustard. And then they have these neutrals. Of course, this is a this is a matte with glitter, but still, like the only one I don't see myself using is probably Deja Vu. Uh, melt is passable for me, and everything else in here works for my skin tone. So, like I said, it's cute. Um, I also have the blush. This one is the Love Story one, and and it's pretty. It's like this um peachy tone one so we're going to be doing swatches of that one i already pretty much have it on my cheeks but you guys are going to see me like use it again and do swatches <laughs> and then i have all four of those uh i believe they're lip oils or lip i think they're lip glosses actually no they're lip oils so we're going to be doing those two i i've i wanted to kind of use two for today and then two for the one with the pink the the what was it the menage moi one but I figured I'd just do it all. It doesn't really make a difference. They they don't have any tint in them, you know? <laughs> so we'll do all that in the beginning of the video. Apart from that, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. <laughs> Bye, you guys.